All right, people of YouTube, welcome to another session here at Miami Flying Trapeze. Let's introduce everybody. You got Mama Bird up there. She's flying. There she is. She's warming up. She just put up the bar. And over here, you recognize this face. There's Brittany. She's going to be doing some fun stuff today. Fun stuff. And then we have a couple new uh, students. They're going to be doing the orientation class. Here we go. What's your name? Angel. Angel. Vanessa. And Vanessa. There they are. All right. So uh, naturally, you can see the orientation tricks. That's sitting hang with the backflip. The only time you ever do two tricks in one turn. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, please like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And let's get started. Okay, we're gonna pause it right there. So, welcome back to Mommy Flying Trapeze. I'm going to be doing this format for a little while. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. I got a mic. I got the DSLR, I think, focused in. Um, now, this is the second time I do this because my computer completely crashed. Uh, so, I lost a day and then I, I had to help my brother with some stuff, but I'm gonna try to pump out these videos. In saying all that, you're gonna see where I am starting to learn a little bit more on how to make it entertaining uh, to watch and still be informative um, for the students because that is the most important reason why we are doing this. Um, and and then you're just gonna, I, I gotta bust out like three classes because we have class tonight in about an hour. So let's do our best. So let's go through this. I will try to be as concise as possible. So here, Mama Bird is going to be doing a knee hang. Look how I zoom in. And there she is, legs up, <clears throat> hooks her knees. Perfect, right at peak. And then hands off a little early, but that's my fault because I call it early. You just don't want to bang into it. And there she is, you see how she's waving her hands because she's looking back for a catcher. So she arched back. And here she comes, legs down at peak. Very good. And now it's going to be, watch her toes. She got scared on this one, but she's not wearing a harness. All right, watch your toes. It's gonna be forward, backwards, forward. Let go of the bar, grab your knees. Let go a little late, but it is scary. Again, I can't help her there. She has no harness on and she's doing this uh, all on her, on her own. Um, all right, very good. So first up, we have Brittany. I believe she's just gonna be warming up. Let's see, she does her turnaround and up over the board. Very good. And you can see where I'm zooming in. That's not gonna happen most of the video just because I gotta bust them out. It takes time and I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'll get better at it. So she didn't let go. She's doing a suicide, it seems. Yep, there's her suicide down to the net. And you can see the color correction. I was playing with that as well. Yeah, that's not gonna happen throughout the rest of it. It was a cloudy day. We do our best. Hopefully you still get a good video. If you wanna see it in best results, you need a big screen. So watch it on your TV. If you're watching it from your little phone, hopefully my voice is what you wanna hear because that's what you're gonna hear uh, more than see because I've tried looking at it from my little phone and you need a bigger screen. So anyway, let's continue on. All right, so here comes Vanessa for her first time. Mind you, she has never done anything like this before, so if she doesn't get her feet up right away, that's okay. All right, so let's see, she didn't get her feet up. If you don't get your feet up on the first try, it makes it really hard uh, after that because your swing dies down. After you take off and we call legs up, you wanna do it right at peak when we call it because you have the highest uh, probability of your feet going whipping up to the sky. Let's see if she gets her back flip. So we have the forward, oh, and a half a backflip, that's okay. There, I think she just let go uh, a little late. Her feet started to come back down. Here comes Brittany with her turnaround. Oh no, she's forcing out, nice force out. And here comes her turnaround. And force out, turnaround. That's perfect uh, for now. If she ever wants to get higher, we can train that. And she gave a little salute. Very nice. In the other clip that I had, she, I had the camera angled here so you can see the salute, but like I said, I lost a lot of footage and I just had, had to redo it. Okay, so there comes Angel. Now he bent his arms when he took off. And again, first time he's ever done it. Let's see if he gets his knee hang on the second on the second swing. And there it is, pops him right up. That's right, get those back the back of your knees real nice and comfortable behind the bar. And then hands off right here at peak. No hands off, but it is a lot to take in, so don't judge. There it is, hands off and you want to arch your back and look behind you. Not bad, it's a very low swing, so it is hard to get up there. All right, hands back up at peak and feet back down at peak. Good, now feet together straight, point those toes. You're in the circus now and you're gonna kick your feet over here on the back end. We're gonna kick forward, backwards, forward, too high. He put too much power into it. Oh, but look, he's still got his back flip, so he saved it on that one. And I helped, I kept his hips up so he doesn't knock his teeth out with his uh, knees there. It's always my biggest fear. So here we go, we got Brittany, she's forcing out. Nice force out, uh, it's still early in the session. Oh, it looks like she's going for a layout, nice set, and pop it up, very nice layout for Brittany. She's making huge strides on that. Uh, it's probably the one trick we train more than anything else. All right, here comes Vanessa for her second turn, legs up. Oh, she doesn't commit to it. 
But now uh, I'm gonna go into this as uh, as we watch her video legs up here and there she goes She committed actually I'm gonna pause it. So Vanessa got really jealous that uh, Angel got it before her So they had a little bit of uh, spouse or boyfriend girlfriend uh, rivalry going on But she was determined and look at that right where I paused it She is going to get this knee hang and uh, very very nice she gets up there, back of her knees, get them real nice and comfortable. And then over here at the back end, take uh, hands off. Arch your back, look behind you. Not bad for a dead swing. Did really well. She's holding herself. Look at that toe point. Very nice. All right. Usually feet come down on the front end, but that's okay. Now we're going to do the three kicks. Let's see if Vanessa gets the back flip. Forward, back, forward. Let go of the bar, grab your knees. And there it is, a slow motion back flip. Very nice. All right, not bad for a second try. All right, here comes Angel for his second try. Let's see if he gets it on the first swing. Legs up, does not commit. That's all right, it's only the second time ever doing it. Right, let's see if he gets it on the second. And with legs whip up underneath the bar. And back of the knees nice and comfortable on there, not bad. So we're gonna take an extra swing here. And then we'll call hands off right here at peak. Very good, and arch your back, look behind you. Very good, not bad at all. All right, that's right. The hands right back there where it is and feet back down right where he did it. Very good. Legs straight behind you together. Kick forward, backwards, forward, and hey, not bad, but you see, <laughs> oh, I held him up. I held him up so he doesn't rug burn the top of his head there. All right, here comes Mama Bird. She is working on her swings. These are just warm ups, so she's, she's doing TikToks. Now, TikToks are a great form of warm up. The only difference between TikToks and swings is watch when she forces out. Let's see if she does a TikTok. She forces her feet up and down opens up the shoulders and uh, you know just warms you up now when you're younger you get away with anything at least I did nowadays I have to warm up um, I think mama bird's still young enough where she uh, she can get away with it but she's got a good habit okay here comes Vanessa for a third try legs whip up she commits she's under the bar and knees back over the bar very nice all right so and hands off right here at peak right there she did not commit to it but she hasn't taken her hands off, so that's good. She's listening. All right, hands off right here, and nope, still, oh, there it is. Very late, at the wrong peak, but that's okay. Again, they have never done anything like this before, uh, and I have a feeling that she dragged uh, Angel over to it, but it goes to show you how great of a, of a man he is to his girl. He was like, baby, whatever you wanna do, and he was not, it wasn't something he wanted to do, but something that she wanted to do. And look, he did well, he had a good time, and she definitely had a blast. Hey, there's her backflip, very nice. Uh, committed to it, had the, had a better timing, and did it well. Here comes Brittany with her force out, knees to the bar, very nice force out. And back, and set, here comes the layout, break it, and up to the sky, very nice whip up there. Yeah, her layouts are really coming along. There's nothing much to say about it. There's always room for improvement if you wanna go up higher. Uh, she did let go a little bit early, but on this rig, that's very catchable. Oh, there he goes, Angel. He bent his arms when he took off, so you get a big uh, drop at the bottom, but strong, he holds on. There's the whip up, feet underneath, and knees back of the knees over the bar, and uh, let go a little late, And he, but he got a nice arch there, and he's getting way better at it. I like that very much. Okay, and feet came down nicely at the same spot, and kick your, he's gonna kick his feet forward, backwards, forward, let go of the bar, grab your knees, Look at that power. Very nice backflip, Angel. Um, all right, so here comes Brittany kicking back. Okay, I think she's doing a demonstration. So this is a two position pike whip. Uh, knee hang first, then the pike, and hep. right at peak. Brittany does this very well, so she's our demonstrator. Um, spot on, there's nothing wrong with that. She does everything at peak. You can see that she came down, I'm pausing real quick. You can see that she came down to her belly. Now, everybody has a different opinion about that. Listen to your coach. If you are learning flying trapeze wherever you are, your coach is has, has the right answer. Um, you're welcome to learn from everybody else, all that. But in the circus, you listen to your coach. If you don't like your coach, go find a different coach. If you don't have an option, you do the best that you can, and I'm very sorry. I, I highly recommend that you travel and find different coaches that you like. A good coach should be humble enough to say, well, if you like it that way, do it that way. At least I do. Uh, if somebody travels and they go to a different coach, the fact is, I'm not the best coach out there. I think I'm really good, but what I say, doesn't always uh, work for everyone. Um, so it's good to go around and see other coaches. Okay, let's get back to the video because there's plenty of talking to do, but I want to bust through this, get you guys into the next video, the next session. Okay, there goes Vanessa on the first try. She whipped her feet right up and very nice. I think on this one, she may have hurt her hamstring. So things are going to change here. 
uh, after this uh, turn. But very nice. Look, she let go a little bit late, but she did look back. She was uh, reaching for the catcher there, the imaginary catcher. If you see on the other end of the trapeze, there is a catch bar. That's where uh, someone goes up there and they catch the flyers. Right now, Vanessa, everything you see is mostly flyers. Forward, backward, forward. Let go of the bar, grab your knees. Nice backflip. She's got a good timing on that. Good release. Um, all right, here comes Brittany. She's trying something crazy because it's Brittany. And yes, half time forward over. Look at that height she got. Not bad. First time, I think. First time she's ever done a half time forward over. It is ex as scary as it looks. Uh, okay, here comes uh, Angel. He did bend his arm again, so he gets a big dip, but he can hold on to it. Whips his feet right up, back of the knees on the bar, and let's go a little bit late. Uh, okay, good. He didn't let go. Let's see. He lets go right here at peak, and ooh, hasn't let go yet. Let's see. Does he let go here at peak? And oh, he's done doing the pike. Look at this pike. I completely forgot about this. Nice whip open. Not bad. Two tricks in one uh, in one session. That shows some talent there, Angel. All right, so here comes Mama Bird. She's in line, so she's going to do a trick. Knees came up to the bar. Not too bad. Nice force out. Kicks back into her set. Holds it. Oh, break broke early. And there's her layout, which is a pike. But Mama Bird is uh, working on this. There is a lot of fear that goes into this. Most everybody does that the first time. Um, okay, here comes Vanessa. I think at this point, Vanessa told me she hurt her hamstring. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but I was like, let's not force it. So I'm going to throw you in the deep end of the pool, like into class 10, because I don't want you to lose a day. So we're going to practice swings. The way that I teach swings, you have the part here that's going forward, and then you have the part here that's going backwards. I teach the part that's going backwards first. Now watch her feet. The idea is here, you can kick your feet forward, backwards, and forward. And there's a lot of steps that go in between there, but this is just first time. Forward, backwards, forward. She had good timing there. Um, it does change, by the way, but this is good for now. So she had a good timing there too. It's forward. You, you just want to concentrate on one thing at a time. And as we go getting the timing, we start adding things like the hips and the push and the shoulder, which is a seven. There's a lot of things that we add. So there we t I tell her, okay, when I say hip, you're going to lift your feet, release and try to left land on your bottom. All right, here comes Brittany with her half turn. Now here, this is what I want to talk about. Look at Brittany. I've really zoomed it in. Uh, she did save herself. This is what's scary about um, uprises or these half times. You've got to commit. You've got to be way over the bar, way over the bar, and your arms have got to be locked out. Now, everybody has a different opinion about where you put your hands. A lot of people say they got to stay in close, so they're right over your hip flexors, or uh, I watch a lot of the pros and they like to go wide. Again, um, preference. There's a difference in technique when it comes to school learning, and if you're learning because uh, you travel to a backyard, uh, rig from some of the pros now I have a backyard rig, but I'm not a pro I feel pretty good on the catch and I feel like I can do well in the catch I'm, I'm about 200 pounds and I've got a nice grip and I've got a good sense of timing as a flyer I'm not a flyer, but that's besides the point I'm gonna keep trying to be a flyer, but I don't expect anybody to catch 200 pounds me um, But as a catcher, I do feel good But the whole thing is I am at the end of the day more of a school I get a lot of professionals that come in and they'll give uh, I get to learn a lot from them and I tend to agree with their opinions um, but a lot of different opinions. Again, listen to your coach. But watch Brittany as she comes down, as slow mode it. The key here, if you don't commit and if you don't get it, is push that bar away from your face because you will knock your teeth out. So let's see, it's slow mo, and she pushed away just in time. It was a close call. Brittany's always there to scare me. Now here, um, I usually just put them back up. I tell them do the pull, uh, do the uprise again, and I'll put you up there. But she was like, no, I'm gonna earn this. Um, and uh, she got up there and I was like, oh, do a penny roll. She was like, it defeats the purpose, Miguel. I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, so she, she does, she's not afraid to put me in my place. I do take a humble pill from time to time, even though I did get, get angry uh, because it's hard for me to take a humble pill, but yeah, I took one. All right, here comes Vanessa for number round number five, I believe. So she's still doing her swings. Let's see how she does with her timing. Remember, she's only learning the back half. She is trying to do the push, but I think it's too much information. Forward, backwards, forward. Don't worry about the push right now. If you don't get the time, you see her feet uh, whipped back, forward, backwards, forward, a little early on that, so her feet are whipping back. So here, she just went early. So here, forward, backwards, forward. Let's see if she gets it one more time. Feet should be behind her. Oh uh, no, it's time to let go. But nice, look at her timing. She lifted her feet just like ass uh, and hepped off right on uh, peak. Here comes Mama Bird. I think she's gonna do another layout. A little weak on the force out, but she is uh, making improvements. Nice set and nice hold, break. And up she goes. She opened up a little bit more, so she's making cognitive and uh, efforts on that. Here comes Brittany with her half turn. 
Uh, halftime uh, forward over. Did she get it? She commits. Eh, she fell out of it, but she protected herself, and that's what was important. I like that. Uh, so she's going to do it again. She was like, I was like, go for it. At this point, I was a little bit angry with her, so I was like, okay, I'm not coaching you anymore. I'm just going to save your life. Uh, that was very wrong of me. I will call myself out. I need to continue to give her her calls. Um, I think she sensed it, but she, uh, she can care less. And good for her because I need to do my job and that's the right thing to do. So here she's just gonna jump out of it. Um, but I did stop calling her. I mean, she knows what she's doing at the end of the day. So here she goes again. Nice, jump into it. Good forward over. She called her own uh, Kip and Hep. Um, she wanted to earn it and I made her earn it. But again, that was wrong of me and I will own it. So here we go. She jumps, but nice commitment. Kip and a Hep. Good, not bad. She called that on her own too. The last two she called on her own. And I walked away after uh, this was pretty much the end of the class. So I'm going to leave that there. We're going to come back and focus here. I do thank you for the time that you have uh, watched our session. I'm going to bust out a couple of other videos today. They're not going to be as good as I'd like them to be, but I think they're going to be they're going going to be good enough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll try to give announcements at uh, the end of the videos like this. But I have no announcements right now, at least none written down. So. Here is your daily dose of cuteness. See you tomorrow.